Tags are incredibly useful, but there are a couple of frustrating aspects about them that I want you to be able to cover off. And so the first is where you have a tag in your list that you no longer want against any of your cards or in your selector list along the left hand side here. And so let's pretend that I've accidentally added an incorrect tag. So we've got um, test x down the bottom here. Let's say I'm adding um, test y. And I want to add test y too. And so I've put a comma as a separator between test y and test y2. You notice what happens when I've added those tags is that instead of having test y just by itself, it's actually added the comma along with the tag. And that's because Anki only uses spaces to separate tags, nothing else. So I've got test y in there and I no longer want it. So, so I can remove it from a card um, by selecting remove tags and I could have selected multiple cards before I did that if I wanted and finding the tag in this case test Y and selecting OK so now when I select on test Y you'll see there are no um, cards against it but it still exists in the list along the left hand side to remove it from there I need to go back into my deck view and find check database in the tools and select that. By checking the database I force Anki to rebuild the list of selectors along the, the left hand side of the browser view. So once I go back there we'll see that it's actually removed the uh, comma related tags that I had um, in my list. One other really gnarly situation that can occur is if you're sharing cards with others, maybe one of them's producing the cards from one lecture and you're producing them from another, and you have some agreed tags, but there's a difference in the case that one of you used to the other. So an example here is where I've got uh, tags here, B01, 02, and 03, with the capital B, um, but someone else has used lowercase b when they were creating the tag um, for b02 and b03. Now in that situation, when I select, select on uh, lowercase b02, it's actually going to bring up all of the cards that are tagged with b02, whether it's uppercase or lowercase. So if I want to get rid of the lowercase b02, I need to have all of those cards selected. So I'm going Control A, which is going to select all of the cards with that tag. I need to then add just a, a random tag to those cards. Let's say my tag is going to be XX. Right, so those tags are now, uh, those cards are now tagged with both B02, uppercase and lowercase, and XX. Now what I want to do is select, uh, well I've got all the cards selected, I'm going to select them all again and I'm going to remove B02 from all of the cards. So none of the cards have B02, whatever the case um, of, the, of the B. And I'm then going to have to go into my <coughs> deck window, tools, check database. And that's now removed both cases of the B02 tag. So when I go back into my browser, there's no B02 at the bottom and no B02 at the top. But how am I going to select those cards that had the B02 tag against them now? Well, I'm going to have to go and select that XX tag and then pick all of those cards and add the tag back again using the case that I want to be consistently used across all of the cards, which is uppercase B. Then I go through the same process to remove the XX tag from them. So it's quite convoluted. Uh, if you can avoid that situation, I'd suggest you do.